Girls, welcome back to 13 Days of Spooky Makes. Today we are going to be making really fun mini banners or pennants and I have two different styles I want to make. I want to make super small ones because I think they're going to be so freaking cute to hang in your car's rear mirror. I think that would be such a cute little idea for a little spooky decor in your car. So I'm going to make a smaller version and I'm going to make a 6x8 style version as well. For this one I'm going to go with Booty You because you know, Disney has that parade in Florida, the Booty You Parade. So to start off, um, grab a 6x8 pattern paper of your choice. I'm using the Hey Pumpkin collection from Crate Paper. Now to create the pendant, if you have your pendant punch board, I have it, but I'm not going to use it today. Um, I'm just going to go in with a ruler, just eyeball it really pretty much, with a pencil. What I'm going to do is cut that side first, and then flip it over and you'll see what I'm going to do. So now, we'll do it like this. And this is a simple, fast way to create a pennant. The next step is to score the top. So this is gonna end up being a little bit smaller than I thought, that's okay. Now for the dowel rod part of the pennant banner, you can use a wooden dowel or you can use a paper straw. All right, so the next step is to score the top of the banner so that you can create like a little corner so that you can tuck in the dowel. Um, I did trim this dowel a little bit, so if you do have like a saw or something, you can trim it down if you're gonna use wooden dowels or you can find smaller sizes maybe at different craft stores. But I did trim it down, so just wanted to let you guys know that. So as you can see, we need enough space to wrap around the dowel. So I'm just going to eyeball this at this point. Uh, I'm going to score at an inch. And then half an inch. So again, score at half an inch and one inch. So there you go. This will cover the dowel and the dowel will sit inside here like so. And then you can just wrap it around like that. So it just helps make it a cleaner look on the back. So if you want something a little bit longer, you can take a, six, a 12 by 12 paper, trim it down to 6 by 12 and then um, do this part first, the top part, because then once that's done, then you can eyeball and see how much of the pennant you want to remove to make it as long or as short as you'd like. All right, let's do this. So I'm just applying the adhesive, the glue, directly inside that little bed we created. So I can hold that up so I can eyeball the wooden dowel as best as possible. That looks, that looks great. Okay, perfect. Let's press it down. Okay, and then I'm just going to add more adhesive on this end here. Alright, so let's get started to decorate. Um, I have some black pom-pom trim. I think I'm going to want to add to the bottom here. Let's start gluing stuff down. I'm going to use a Tumble Mono liquid glue to do this. So what I'm going to do is apply some adhesive to the back side of the banner, little baby pom-pom trim sticking out of it. I'm just burning the edges of the ribbon so it doesn't fray.
have the decorative pom-poms on. Next step is to add the little um, twine. And I'm using this thick black and white baker's twine that I have in my stash. So you're gonna wrap it around like a couple of times with adding glue like that. So I'm just gonna add a bit of adhesive hot glue gun around the dowel. Twice. Now you're done with the hot glue. Now let's further decorate the image. perfect little Halloween decor piece and you can make these banners as big or as small as you'd like really cute for happy mail as well so now we're gonna make a little mini one to put in your car so for the small one to make for the car I'm using a 4 by 6 piece of paper and I'm going to do the same thing I'm using paper straws this time so it's a lot thinner and smaller so I'm not gonna have to score that much yeah okay so I think I'm gonna score it at half an inch and then a quarter of an inch. I think it's best if you score it at three fourths of an inch. That's better. Oh, look, it covers it on all sides. Perfect, that's great. I'm gonna make some more because these are so much fun to make and I can't wait to make some for my friends little cars I can't wait to hang this and stay tuned for the end of the video I'm gonna have a photo of how it looks like in my car So I added some glossy accents to her eyes a little bit more on the bubbles here And this one is so freaking cute again. I love it so much. I have the elastic string here. Hey everyone I'm back. I decided to add some chipboard to the back so that it just makes it a lot more secure and not so flimsy so as you can see I added some white chipboard that I have it's just really thick cardstock it came in packaging so yeah it just looks cleaner it hides the glue gun mess and it just makes it so much sturdy so it'll last a lot longer and you guys can see here um, the glossy accents looks really cool I don't know if you can tell but the Link Stella underneath add some really fun sparkly bits and if you're gonna display something like this every year you want it to be sturdy you want it to be long-lasting so I just measured the back really simple so I made this one off-camera and I think I might actually keep it for myself because it's really cute <laughs> 
So now it's super sturdy and really strong. I'm just gonna let it dry. I also made this one last night and this is a smaller banner for your car or for anywhere else that my recipient is gonna wanna display it. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you give it a try, don't forget to show me. I love to see your recreation. You can add your photos in the Crafty Rebels Facebook group or you can also um, add them in the community tab here on Patreon. All right, Rebels, see you in my next tutorial. Bye.